Welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at Mimikatz. Now, first and foremost, if you are going to download Invoke Mimikatz, okay, you're going to want to do that on G4 USS 47's um, script here. Okay, you're going to want to use this one like right here. Other ones will give you errors about memory and things like that. So if you go to run Mimikatz, you're getting a whole bunch of errors about memory, memory allocation, things like that. You're going to want to download this script right here. This will combat those memory problems as maybe cats 2.2 last updated seven months ago all right now let's go ahead and let's get out of the system we're gonna have an assumed breach right we're already in the system wherever else and i already have maybe cats now this is just the regular version of maybe cats the maybe cats.exe what most people are used to i already have that loaded on i'm gonna show how to run this in powershell because if we go to run this right now right we get this okay and it's not gonna stop right it doesn't stop so let's go ahead and let's see how do we run that actually in PowerShell if we're going to run that version of it, not the PowerShell version. We can do a period slash mimicats.exe and we could say something along the lines of command and we can say lsa dub lsa slash patch. And then we can say exit. There we go. All right. So now we've now run mimicats with a command added to it. I don't know if we could run more than one command. Let's try it one more time. Let's try like a, we'll just do like a privilege debug at the beginning. Something like that, like right there. You can. Okay, so now it ran privilege debug and LSA dub LSA slash patch. Right? So if we scroll up right here, okay, we can see that it ran privilege debug and then went ahead and ran the second command right here. Now you notice I'm just using double quotations. I'm not putting a single quote at the end and I'm typing an exit at the end. If you don't type an exit, it's just going to keep giving you that Mimikatz. It's going to drop your information, but then it's going to try to get back into Mimikatz. So you're going to get that Mimikatz uh, pound sign the rest of the way down. So that is one way to run Mimikatz. Another way to run Mimikatz is to actually utilize, uh, let's go ahead and grab my IP address. It's to utilize invoke mimicast.ps1, the one that I just showed you. So if we do an IEX, if we put this into memory, right? IWR, use basic parsing. Invoke mimicast. Use basic parsing is used if uh, Internet Explorer has never been started before. So we tell it, I don't care, just go ahead and download. All right, we get that on there. Now from here, we can run invoke mimicast. TAC command, because remember now we're using PowerShell script. And we're going to do a single quote that double quotes LSA dump LSA slash patch. And just to show that we can actually run a couple of these in here, we'll go ahead and do uh, privilege debug. All right, and maybe something like a um, SEK URL, say, log on password. It's log on password or log on passwords. I always forget that one. Nah, hopefully it's that. We'll see. And then we'll do a vault cred slash all. And then we'll put that single quote at the end again. So we started with a single quote, we put all of our commands into double quotes, right? And then a single quote again at the end. Go ahead and enter. This is gonna take a little bit longer because of everything else. Okay, log on password's not something, vault credit slash all didn't drop anything. But we can see that did run all the commands in there. There's our LSA dub, right? We'll scroll up, we can see that privilege debug, most likely right at the very beginning. We could run a token elevate in there also. If you wanted to, geez, there's a lot of people on this machine. There we go. All right, there's our privilege debug, our LSA dump, LSA slash patch. We could dump the SAM, everything else, right? We could keep going with this. Another way to do it is through actual command prompt. So let's first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a um, remote desktop, an RDP session with this machine. One problem though is if I go ahead and I map port 3389, it's not open. It is closed. However, easy day. We can set the item properties as long as we're a high enough privilege and turn on remote desktop. The value is going to be zero. So I'll leave that command there for a second. We enter there. Remote desktop is now going to be open. Give it a second. So it opens up. It should be open. There we go, and it opened up. I was about to look like an asshole. No, and now it's open. So now we can go ahead and we can roll remote desktop in. I like to use Remina. That's just my flavor of what I like to use. Use whatever you like. I'll show you why I like to use Remina, because I can actually get full screen with it. And we'll do caret 
PS at SSW0 at the exclamation point. If we hit this little up and down like right here, that guy like right there. All right, if we hit this guy, there we go, and now it's full screen. So let's go ahead and right click on PowerShell. We'll go ahead and we'll run it as administrator. Yes, we can go ahead and head over to command prompt, whatever. We go over to C, right? The CD and the C temp dir. There's our mimicats right there. So we can do a mimicats.exe and we can run it the normal way they used to. Privilege debug token elevate. If I can spell elevate correctly. There we go. Um, I don't know. LSA dump. LSA. Oh, nope. Doesn't like that one. Okay. LSA dump LSA slash patch. There we go. All right. Cool. Uh, we could try dump LSA dump. Um, secrets. All right. Uh, what about Sam? Nope, it hates us without both of those, okay? Um, LSA, or S-E-K-U-R-L-S-A, log on, password. Is it passwords? It is passwords, slash full. Can we do that? All right, nothing in there, okay? But we can run Mimikatz our regular way of what we would actually do. Yep, there it is, log on, passwords. All right, so we can run Mimikatz our regular way, um, use, utilizing the executable, we can run it with invoke mimicats, or if we're stuck in PowerShell, if we can't get out of PowerShell, right, then we can run it as a um, period slash invoke mimicats, or mimicats, excuse me, dot exe command, I'll say dump, I'll say slash patch, or whatever command you want to put in here, and then you can continue to add commands on the back of that, and there we go. And you'll see how I'm still in it because I forgot to put in that exit, right? So if you can't get remote desktop protocol working, you can't get on it, something like that, that's another way to be able to do it if you're stuck in PowerShell and if Invoke Maybe Cats is not working for you or if you don't know how to use it or you've never used it before or anything like that, this is another way to be able to do it. I right, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. I'll talk to you all later.